All right, guys. Um, we are going to be learning how to do a grid today on an eight by eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And that's just a regular old computer piece of paper. So what you're gonna need is a piece of paper, a pencil, and I like to make sure mine is pretty sharp, so you may see me getting up to sharpen my pencil during this, trying to film it all in one take. And you need a ruler. Now, the important thing to know about your ruler is that some rulers, and this is gonna be backwards for y'all, it looks like, I'll see if I can flip it in post. Um, some rulers are going to start directly at the edge and some rulers are going to start on the in first inch mark. Oh, like, there's not enough light. Okay. So it's important to know that on this ruler, it doesn't start. The first inch doesn't start at the edge. It actually starts. Let me show you actually starts can you see that right there there's like a little bit before it starts so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be breaking this paper up into 11 boxes going this direction and eight boxes going this direction so when I say you're gonna do eight going vertically and 11 going horizontally or vice versa, whichever, you're gonna have eight across the shorter edge and 11 across the bigger edge. So what you're gonna do first is gonna, you're gonna lay down your ruler here and I go pretty close to the top, but I don't go all the way to the top. Now, this is an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper. So the great thing about that is if you line this little inch line up with this edge of the paper and you line your 11 inch mark up with the edge of the paper, you should know that your ruler is straight. So what I'm gonna do is every inch, I'm just gonna make a little mark, really light, okay? Now, I'm going to scooch my ruler down to the middle of my paper. I'm going to line that up again. I'm going to line it up with my inch here and ooh, my 11 inch here. And the reason we don't flip it is because if there is any chance that we're off, then it would be slightly off and we wouldn't get a straight line. So I'm going to put an in, a mark at every inch. Again, and since this is an 11 inch piece of paper, I don't have to worry about being off. Now you're gonna see that we're gonna have a half inch and I'm gonna show you how I take care of that problem early on. Okay, now we're going to slide our ruler again. Getting a lot of mail. It's probably you guys turning in our in work asking me questions about how to grid because I hadn't made this video yet. Okay, yet again, we're just scooching it down. We're not turning the paper or turning, ooh, or turning the ruler. I'm going to make a one line at every, every inch. It's all the way to 10. We can't make a line at 11 because 11 is the edge of the paper. Now we are going to turn our paper here. And the cool thing about those three marks that we just made is that if we line those marks up on the edge of our ruler, okay, if we line those three marks up and we take and we hold the, the ruler, I like to spread my fingers out like this so I know that the ruler is not going to wiggle. I don't want the ruler to wiggle. And then very lightly, not pushing hard at all, pushing very lightly, we're just gonna go whoop, and make a line. 
And it's a very light line because we have to erase every single one of these lines that we make in the end. Okay, yet again, we're gonna line those three marks up. And spread your fingers out so the ruler doesn't go anywhere. Whoop. And you're gonna do that all the way down. All right, so now <clears throat> you can see we have 11 evenly spaced sections. They're all gonna be one inch. I like to break everything up into one inch boxes. That way it's really easy to convert the smaller picture to the larger picture or whatnot, whatever you do. Now, we're gonna do the same thing up here, but we are going to do one every inch for eight inches. That is going to leave us a half inch at the edge that I simply just slice off. So, yet again, we're gonna line this up, line it up, one inch, two inch, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so you can see right here, there's a half an inch that we are not gonna use. So like, just to show you that that's not gonna be in use, I'm putting a little X there. I will clip this paper off right there. Okay, we're gonna slide our ruler down again. Remember, we're not turning the paper, we're not turning the ruler, we're sliding the ruler down. So about halfway. Then we are going to do it again. One little dot every inch. Okay, yet again, little half inch we're not using. I'm gonna just throw an X there so I know that I'm not using it. And bringing our ruler down, sliding it down. Here. I'm gonna go ahead and make little dots there. This is actually a really simple process that gives us a really good outcome on our um, our grid. I've got hand sanitizer in my way. Okay, flip your paper. Now, we're going to do the same process where you line the ruler up on all three little dots and you draw a line, a light line. Make sure you're holding that ruler down tight. You don't want it to wiggle. Okay, go down and do it again and keep going until you're done. All right, so now we have all of these squares that are completely full, ready to go. Sorry, my thing is backwards. I do have this area right here that I am not going to draw in. That's a half inch that I'm not going to draw in because I'm doing this in eight by 11 piece of paper. So what I am going to do here on my eight and by 11, I am going to trim carefully off that edge. Give myself a nice clean edge where I don't have to bother with that half inch of space that I know I'm not going to use anyway. All right, so now I have a nice clean piece of paper to work with. And that is how you do a nice 8 by 11 grid.